Hi guys, Abs here. We've made an update to the viral image wizard and I'm going to be taking you through the changes that we've made, some minor refinements which actually make the software much better to work with. Um, so just before we get going, I want to make you aware that when whenever we do actually release an update to any of our softwares, um, then inside of the application folder, uh, you'll find another, soft, uh, another file called um, readme.txt. And this is the readme.txt file, guys. Um, and as you can see, we've actually got the release date there. So on the 6th of February, and the 6th of February there, so two releases there. Um, but they were actually um, dealt with separately, um, but in the one update. Um, but as you can see, if we actually go through them, we actually have a different option in the batch meme um, processing option there. Um, we also have a, a way to actually optimize our posts that we make to WordPress. So if you so if you have the all-in-one SEO pack plugin installed, um, then the software allows you to actually fill the title and the descriptions up there as well. Um, you, then we've also made some minor changes on um, accounts. So you can actually have the same Facebook accounts now. You can have the same um, Tumblr accounts, um, same Pinterest accounts, as long as... Um, they are posting to different boards or different groups or different categories or different fan pages. Um, and we've also had a minor update to the WordPress script just to make sure that it actually works with previous WordPress installations and new WordPress installations as well. Um, so I'm going to take you through the changes now. Um, firstly, the batch meme editor. So as you can see, I'm in the batch meme editor here. I'm going to actually open up a folder and show you now. So not this folder. Let me just go to another folder. Okay, I'm going to delete this folder here. But as you can see from these images here, if I go to extra large, you can see they're all various sizes. Um, now, the issue that we had before was when you do actually try and process batch memes with different sized images, um, then we only had an option where you had to actually choose um, the output dimension. So you had to choose the width and the height of the image. Um, so what the software was doing, it was actually, well, if you had very large images or you had small images, then the software would have had to minimize the image um, to actually push in um, and make and force this output size. Um, so what we've got now, we've got another option whereby if you do have multi-sized images in a folder, um, what you can do now is actually click on auto size rather than actually choose the output height and width there. Um, so I'm going to show you this in action now. So I've actually got this folder here. Um, I'll actually minimize this. And, well, I'll actually put this on smaller so you can actually see the folder get generated as well. Um, I'll fill that at top. Um, text and a bottom text as well and I've put a black border on there um, very small border two inches well two pixels or whatever um, auto size black um, blue background and I'm gonna click on run batch and as you can see um, that's been done and if we go in here um, what you'll notice obviously this one has a white border around it because the image here originally um, has a white board around it as well. Um, okay, but what you can see now, it's much cooler, it's much nicer. Your images, or none of the images have actually been um, forced to resize or anything like that. And if we open this up, then you can actually see we've got the haha -ha and viral image wizard towards the bottom, which is fantastic. If we have a look at this one, this one's what a pick, and um, it looks perfect. Um, so there's no issues there. We've got the black board there as well. Um, previously, that wasn't possible um, because we had to force a size, um, but now you've got the option to actually keep everything to one size or you've got the option to actually auto size um, now what might be the best what might be a better idea um, is to actually um, resize your images um, so you can get a similar kind of size um, and the best way to do that is if you go to the image modifier sorry image modifier and actually click on keep aspect ratio and um, minimize it um, sorry yeah minimize the image um, then you'll actually get a better um, well some more uni uh, uniformity to actually uh, to your images. Okay, so let's go back over to the memes, guys. I want to show you a few more options in here as well. Again, um, you can't work with no options here um, because that's like adding like a background or you, you know you could add a um, a large border instead. Um, so you you can work with just one. So for example, this here, I'll click on Run Batch and I'm going to show you some outputs. You'll actually see the changes there. Um, so as you can see, um, it looks fairly cool, but we've got quite a bit of space towards the top. So what we can do, we can actually click on top and where the font size is, take it all the way to the end, guys. Even though it's unchecked, you'll actually see the differences now. As you can see, the image is made bigger towards the top there because um, that was actually holding some position for um, for the actual font size. Okay, now if we do that with the bottom as well, as you can see, the bottom's already on five. Um, so so that's fine, but if I increase this, you'll, you'll actually see some changes, even though I'm not adding any text, guys. 
it doesn't look too good does it okay so just remember if you're getting any weird kind of settings just reset everything back to zero 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 or five 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 whatever it allows uh, click on run batch and you'll get a much better um, option there as well now if you wanted to let's just have a look what would happen if I put a dot here instead so you can't really see it so there you go you can actually have it working with a border as well if you wanted to fantastic um okay so i'm going to take you over to um, another area now which is our posting script and i'm going to quickly go and load the post editor okay and as you can see everything's exactly the same guys you can still choose your accounts that you want to post to and everything like that no differences here whatsoever however what you have now is an all-in-one add all-in-one seo pack towards the top and if you want to add a title and a description to optimize your um, page title and to optimize your meta description as well then you can do now as well so it's very nice so it's very some small changes very simple but it's going to certainly help to optimizing our posts um, and just making um, the viral image wizard just that much more capable of completing tasks to your needs um thank you very much guys and i hope you um you enjoyed the update